Hi, hello guys. Uh, today we will discuss how you can define different kind of Spotify users, that means their clients, and how you can assign licenses to them. Right. Uh, so we will start with what are different uh, user types or user personas uh, that are there in uh, Spotify. And so what happens is like whenever you try to uh, procure licenses from Tipco, right? So there are three kinds of licenses that you acquire. So first being a Spotify analyst, that is uh, for all your uh, developers. That means the users who are using uh, Spotify on their machine, right? So that is, and they use Spotify analyst. It is an installed client where you, you have all the access and permissions. You can create different dashboard, use machine learning, uh, like uh, integrate in different R and Python functions within it and do predictive analytics and all kinds of things uh, within a Spotify analyst. So more or less, a Spotify analyst is a super user uh, when it comes to Spotify clients. Then there comes a business user, business author. So business author being, uh, so what happens is your Spotify analyst uh, creates a dashboard, creates a business intelligence dashboard, then uh, store it, uh, stores it on server. right? And then the business author can access that dashboard using a web client, like be it Mozilla or Chrome or any web browser. Right? And now they can access the report, they can create their own dashboard on the web browser itself. So business author can modify uh, the dashboards that are created by uh, your analyst or a developer. And they can save their analysis so that uh, maybe they can refer it in future or maybe uh, to publish it to your end user, maybe uh, the consumers. So the consumers are, uh, they, they can be anyone, right from your hire management, they just want to see the dashboard, right? They don't want to change anything. Or maybe you are uh, like a ground layer employee, they, you don't want to give them permission to edit your dashboard, but you want them to access these dashboards and understand how uh, these dashboards look like, right? So these are the three different personas uh, that are present in Spotify. And what you can do is you can like whenever you purchase uh, Spotify licenses, these are the three different categories that you have to pay for. So for today's uh, video, what we'll do is uh, we'll create three different users. We'll assign their permissions. Like we'll create a Spotify analyst as like we'll give, name him SA1. There will be a business author, a BA1 and a consumer that will be a CSM. So what we'll do is we'll create an like first we'll create these users, then we'll assign them the permissions or licenses. And uh, once the licenses are uh, assigned, we'll create or we'll open a pre-created dashboard uh, using my Spotify analyst. We'll I'll store it in an, a folder which is called analysis. Then my business author will access this analysis they'll modify some um, content from it and then publish it into a different folder that is that will be a published analysis kind of folder and then my consumer will only be able to access my dashboard from the published analysis folder right so uh, my business author will have uh, read and access permission to it but my business author cannot save into this particular folder Right? And my Spotify analyst cannot uh, Spotify analyst cannot save anything into the published analysis folder. In this folder, only my business author can store, and my consumer only has read access to my published folder. Right? So we'll start uh, with the like how you can create these user and how you can uh, assign licenses to them. So for first thing, what you need to do is you need to uh, open a browser, right? And then, uh, like you have to log in to your uh, admin, like using your admin privileges, right? Now, once you log into it, you have to uh, define first what we'll do is we'll define groups and then we'll create users and assign them to these groups, right? So, first thing what we'll do is we'll create a group for my business users right? and to give permission to them what you need to do is you need to go over here 
you need to first select that they are a business author right whenever you give permissions or whenever you create a group for a business author you need to mention like apart from selecting the business author permissions you have to go to consumer you have to select this permission that is tipco spotfire consumer then from spot tipco spotfire enterprise player you scroll down you select open file open file from library open link data save spotfire analysis and save to the library so these are the permissions that you need to select whenever you create a group for business author don't forget to save it then in members i'll have to, then we we'll create a user a business user i will create a user called b1 right b1 i'll give uh, some password to it right password to this and save it right now my ba1 is created here i'll go and assign ba1 a group by default every user that is created is assigned to everyone group right which is a system created then you have to now what we have to do is we have to add it to the, the group that we have created and we have created business user i'll add it to the group now if you go over here if you just refresh it and you will see all the permissions that are assigned to the group are assigned to my users now right similarly we will create a consumer group right i will create a consumer group and whenever you create a consumer group you have to give licenses as tipco spotfire consumer you have to go to spotify enterprise player you have to select open file and open open file from library and open linked data so these are the only three uh, permissions that you need to give from enterprise player you are not giving him save and save to library permissions because these users will not be able to save or modify your dashboards right so consumers are the one who cannot modify your dashboard and business author can modify and store it into the folder that they have permission to right so i'll save this now okay now now that my group is created i'll create a user called my cs1 i'll give some password and now that i have a cs1 created i'll go to licenses and so i'll first assign him the group my group is my consumer group i'll save it add to the group right whenever i refresh it i'll go here and refresh this and i'll see my permissions are there now my user cs1 and my user da1 is bs1 uh, is created and by default i have a um, like analyst which is created and i'll use that on that analyst only to uh, like create my analysis and store my analysis uh, i'll go over here so what i have done is i have uh, already created a dashboard and what we'll do is we'll save this dashboard into a folder called analysis and we'll try if my business user can access this dashboard if i give him the permissions right so for that what i have to do is i have to click on this i'll save it as a library item right now in my library item i'll create a folder so to create a folder you have to click over here and i'll give my folder as analysis right and i'll store my dashboard into this particular folder now if you see so this uh, click my dashboard is getting saved into this particular folder and what we will do is we'll assign permissions to this folder so that my business author can only read from it right just cancel this and go over here 
to go to the library. I'll select analysis and I'll click on this view details icon. I'll scroll down and I'll do edit. Now I'll remove these permissions and give star. What I'll do is I'll give my business author permission to only browse and access. They'll not be able to modify this. Right? And I'll give full control to administrator. Like typically your administrator should have a full control over the folder. Right? Uh, right now I have given business user access to this particular folder and I'll save it. So uh, before saving it, what we'll do is we'll try and see if like without the permissions, can my business user see this folder? I'll just give full control to the administrator and I'll say okay. If I go back to my uh, my that my uh, administrative console, I come over here. As of now, I have um, logged in via SA admin. That is my administrator. If I open the analysis, I I can see my folder, right? I right now I log out of this folder. Uh, log out of this administration. Uh, like uh, my log out of my console. And I'll log in using BA1 user, right? If I log into this particular uh, folder, you'll see that I do not have anything present, right? If I go over here, my analysis folder is not there because my analysis folder, uh, I have not given it permission so that my BA can use it. So for this, if I just go over here, I'll select my analysis folder. I'll modify access permissions, I'll search for the group and I'll add business user to browse and access and if I say OK, if I just go back over here and I refresh it, you'll be able to see an analysis folder over here right? and if I double click on it, you'll be able to see this as well. If I open this, right? if I open my analysis folder and if I like, it will, uh, and then if I try to save more, uh, like save all the modifications that I have done. Let's say I have uh, I have changed it from viewing to editing, right? And I have removed it. Right? I have I have made some changes. Now if I go and save this and say we want to continue, I'll say yes, and I'll try to save it in this library. So you'll see that I will not be able to overwrite the report that my developer has created. Right? For this, what I will have to do is, I will have to go back, I will have to create another folder and probably store it in that folder. Right? Or maybe if I don't have permissions to create a new folder, what will happen is my developer will create a folder and give, it, give the permissions to me so that my business user can publish the or they can save their own work into that particular folder right if i click on this i give it a folder as a published report right and uh, let's see and uh, my published report is over here now i'll give permission like i can star my, my business user should be able to browse, access and modify. My consumer should only be able to browse and access and my administrator should have, should have full control over this. Right? I'll say OK. Now, now that the folder is created where my business user can save their report. Right? So I'll go over here. I'll just cancel it for a minute. I'll again go and attempt to save it. Right? Here, now I'll search. Now I have a published report. And if you see, my save button is enabled now. I'll just say as a P1 and version 1 and I'll save it. Now my consumer should be able to access this report. Right? And like they should be able, uh, they should only be able to 
access it and not modify it because we have not given them permissions to modify it and by default your business author only has permission to modify these reports and the consumer can just consume it they can just view it you will see that the this bar where i can change it from viewing to editing like this will not be visible for your business uh, for your consumer for now i'll just close this i'll log out of it and i'll log in using my uh, consumer that is cs1 i'll just log in to this folder and go to browse right now i don't see analysis folder over here because my analysis is like analysis folder does not have permissions for consumers if i again show you i'll click on analysis and scroll down i'll see my browse and access permission is only for business user and full control is with my administrator and similarly for published report my uh, consumer group can browse and access and my business user can browse access and modify this i'll just go back to over here i'll click on published report and i'll click on social media poc version 1 if you see now my consumer can access this report but there's no option for him to uh, him or her to change or modify something into this report they can play around with the report and like understand the data put in some filters they can do everything but they'll not be able to modify this report and save it as their own they can go through and use this analysis right they cannot load the data they can just open and modify the changes uh, sorry open uh, the report and see the dashboard that's it so that that's all so that is uh, that was about creating users giving them uh, giving them uh, respective permissions for business user for consumers once again i'll just go back and i'll show you where you can add like groups and you, where you can give what permissions that you need to give for business author you go to licenses you give them full permission of business author you select tipco spotfire consumer from this and from spotfire uh, enterprise player you give them permission to open file open from library open link data save to the file and save to the library right and similarly for consumers consumer group you go to licenses you give them complete permissions of uh, spotfire consumer and open file and open uh, from library and open link data from your spotfire enterprise player so that is all and uh, thank you for watching if you have some specific topics on which you want me to create a video please do let me know i'll try to create a video and as and when possible thank you very much